Hi guys, welcome back to the show. My name is Brad, this is the Firefighters Financial Toolbox. Uh, I want to give you my July dividend portfolio update, talk about the stocks that I bought and how it's appreciated. But before we got into that, I want to take a look at the S&P 500 and see how that did for the month. You can see we started off at about 3130, uh, so a little above 3000. And we ended July up for the month at 32.71, so a price increase there of about 140 points. Not huge, but still up three quarters of a percent. So not too shabby. Uh, stocks are getting expensive again. What's going to happen? Does anybody have any clues, you guys? Let me know in the comments. I uh, just wanted to say really quickly, if you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, you guys subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell, you'll get notified every time I make a video. And if you get a, if you get enjoyment out of these, or if you just want to help out the channel, you guys, do me a favor and drop a like. Simple way you can pay me back for the time that I put into these videos. Okay, you guys, we're in my M1 Finance account. We're going to go over my monthly dividends this month. Uh, now, as you guys know, I have three separate uh, accounts that pay me dividends. And so we're going to go into the differences here. M1 being the easiest to show. Uh, first of all, we'll start off with the activity that we've had, and we'll take a look at the dividends that I've got this month. This is my dividends portfolio spreadsheet that I made, and July is a small month for dividends, you guys, and I knew it was. Uh, basically, I've got I got three dollars and sixty-two cents from AGNC. That's one of my uh, monthly paying REITs. I got a Dividend of $9.10 from J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, I started the month off with a Coca-Cola dividend of $14.35. Uh, got a small dividend from National Fuel Gas for $4.89. Also got O or Realty Income, which is my other monthly dividend payer uh, REIT. That was $5.69. So my total for July was only $37.65 for my individual dividend paying stocks. Now I did get one dividend for my dividend appreciation ETF, which is VIG. Uh, as you guys know, I use VYM, which is the high dividend yield and the dividend appreciation. These are my tax loss harvesting buddies. So I sold some VYM and bought that when it was down. So locked in a little bit of a loss and it's going to help me with my taxes now small amounts in both of those but all right let's go back to my m1 finance account i'm going to move my head out of the way there we go all right so the account sitting right now m1 at about 6056.53 let's take a look at the activity this month so you can see that we only had the two dividends, the National Fuel Gas and the Realty Income, but we had some buys. And if we take a look, as you guys know, I put $100 in a week. So every Monday I have some buys. The first Monday we got some McDonald's, uh, a little v VBK, some Walgreens, and Waste Management. Uh, the next week it was just Walgreens and Las Vegas Sands Corp. Uh, the next week I had a bunch of buys. I said it's more VBK, Walgreens, Las Vegas Sands, uh, Archer's Daniel Midland, 3M, Waste Management, and a tiny bit of McDonald's. The next week I just had a single buy, and that was Walgreens. Walgreens has been consistently down, you guys, so I've been buying a lot. I hope it's going to recover. Uh, it's still paying a dividend, so I'm happy about that. But... Uh, when you see it on every single buy list, that means that it's been down consistently and hasn't come back much. Uh, and this last week we had Walgreens, Waste Management, Archer's Dance Midden, and 3M once again. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, as you can see, I have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 10 holdings, and then I have the VBK, which is actually not a dividend pair, but the holding's so small that I just kind of loop it in there with it. Over time, it looks like we've been doing pretty good. It says that our return overall is 22.56%, which I take with a grain of salt because it is basically uh, 
looking at the overall the return recently, really that's about what the S and P has done for the month. I think it was 0.77. So taking a look at my Roth portfolio here. Now in Roth, I only have three. This is only a small part of my Roth, you guys. Uh, and I got to tell you, I pick some losers. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it because I've maxed the Roth out for the year between this and my Vanguard account. So uh, Disney's down horribly, uh, almost 20%. And JP Morgan, almost 30%. So those two, uh, I wish I could buy more of them because I feel like J.P. Morgan will recover, and I think Disney will too. Once the COVID thing is done, I think it will recover. D Visa's really been the one that this that's been doing okay. All right, let's look at my Ally account now. Ally overall, um, doing pretty good. I have. I have some green, I have some red. Coca-Cola is down a little bit now, and my biggest one down is Exxon. Uh, as you guys know, oil stocks have taken a bath this year. But I have actually purchased a couple shares this month of Exxon because it was down far enough that I'm trying to lower that average price, you know, make those dividends worth more as you do that. Uh, other than that, in my Vanguard account, the only buys that I had this month, and I'm not going to bring that one up here on screen, I did buy five shares of AT&T earlier in the month, and I also bought five more shares of the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF uh, to start building that purchase up as the prices are a little bit lower than they were before. So looking at my totals for my accounts, you can see that the Ally were at 10,657.28. And the M1 Finance for my Roth portion, and we're at 3,280.97. At our, looking at our dividend portfolio on the taxable side, we're at 6,056.53. And my Vanguard account is actually at 17,298.88. All right, you guys, that brings my grand total for the month up to $37,293.66. Now that's up from $25,871.30 at the end of June. So we're up about $12,000. This is the power of dividend investing. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, drop me a like. If you're not already subscribed, you guys, subscribe to the channel. We're growing every day. The community is getting bigger. Thanks for your time.